In this video, we're going to discuss the three axioms for probability. And this is the definition of probability. So, you know, this sets the stage for everything that we know about probability. Uh, later, when we do proofs, we'll refer back to these axioms. So, uh, you know, while it might feel like right now, why do I care about these axioms? Uh, later, you're going to realize that these are um, you know, extremely important um, for basically understanding anything about probability. Okay, so starting with axiom one. Axiom one states that uh, basically probability of an event must be positive. Okay, so let me write that down. For every event, say I call the event A, the probability of that event has to be greater than or equal to zero. All right, so it can equal zero, but it may not be negative, right? Probability has to be positive or zero, okay? Axiom two. Axiom two states that the probability of the sample space, so for the sample space, I'm gonna use this notation S, capital S. So for the sample space, the probability, the total probability equals one, right? So uh, let me go ahead and write this. This is basically saying that total probability is one, all right? That's basically what axiom two is stating, all right? And then lastly, axiom three, Axiom three has to do with uh, disjoint events if we were to take their union, okay? So for every infinite, infinite sequence of disjoint, right? What does disjoint mean? Disjoint events. Right? So remember, disjoint means that the events have no elements in common. Right? So if we have event A1, A2, dot, 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 none of these um, events have any elements in common because they are all disjoint. Right? If I wanted to find the probability of the union, right, the union of all of these disjoint events, right? This is equal to the sum of the probability for each event, right? So just in case you're not familiar with this notation here, um, basically what I'm saying is the probability of A1 union, A2 union, A3 union, dot, 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 all the way, it's infinite sequence, so all the way to infinite, right, equals the probability of A1 plus the probability of A2 plus the probability of A3 plus dot, 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 forever, right? All right, so we are going to be using these three axioms in the next few videos as we uh, come up with some proofs for probability, all right?